To get started with your Laser Smart Android TV box, please connect the device using the method shown. Once you have connected all cables as shown, please make sure to select the correct source or input using your TV remote. This will ensure that you are on the correct channel to see the information being displayed. When you turn on your device for the first time, you'll be greeted with the following remote setup screen. Please place the remote approximately 30 centimeters away from the device on a flat surface and press and hold the two buttons as shown. Keep the volume down and enter button held until you see the bar on the bottom move from searching to pairing and then finally connected. Now please select the language that you would like to use throughout the device menus. On the next screen, you'll be given an option to set up your device with your Android phone. This will simply take the Google account settings from your phone and apply them to your device. It will also allow you to control the device using your phone as a remote. You can do this using the steps on screen. For our demo, we will skip this process so that we can show you the rest of the setup steps involved. An internet connection is required to use this device properly, so please connect to your chosen Wi-Fi network. A Google account is also required so that you can download apps and use certain other features. Please sign in using your remote. Next, you will need to read and accept the terms of service so that you can proceed. Allowing Google to access your device's location can help with apps like weather. On the Help Improve Android screen, please select either option. If you use the Google Assistant for spoken commands frequently, it is recommended to set this up so that you can use this device with your Google Home app or with your Google Hub speaker. Now simply press the right arrow on your remote to skip through the next few screens. Your device is now set up. You will be greeted with the following main screen. If you have a Netflix account, please select the app and log in. Your Laser Android TV box can support 4K Netflix content along with HDR. The monitor we are currently recording this demo on does not support 4K or HDR, which is why you are not seeing this option on some of the shows. We will now exit the Netflix app and show you the settings options for your device. Here you can change your network settings, your account, and device preferences such as the date and time, language and screen resolution amongst many other settings. In the display settings, please select the maximum resolution that your TV can support. If you would like to rename your device for your Google Assistant spoken commands, select device preferences, about and device name. If for any reason you need to factory reset your device, go back to the device preferences menu and select the reset option right at the bottom. This will do a clean install of your device. Now that we've shown you some basic settings, let's try some of the other apps. At any time while using your Android TV box, you can press and hold the Google Assistant button on your remote, which can allow you to search for content within your chosen app or open a completely new app altogether. Here you can see we are searching for Star Wars content on YouTube. 
Next, we will ask to search for a chocolate cake recipe. As you can see, this feature works very well. We recommend using this as often as possible to save on cumbersome button presses and on-screen keyboards. Now let's exit the YouTube app and show you how you can install some different apps onto your device. On the main screen, select the plus icon next to the apps row. Here, you can select the Google Play Store icon. This will add the icon to your home screen and select the icon to open the Google Play Store. Now you can select from a range of apps that are compatible with your device. Here we are selecting and installing the Disney Plus app. If you have a Disney Plus account, you can go ahead and log in or simply sign up for a new account. Let's try installing another app. If you have a USB stick or a USB hard drive with your own media such as movies, pictures and music, we recommend the VLC for Android app. The first time you open the app, please allow for VLC to access your photos, media and files on your device so that it is able to display all your content. Here we are adding the external storage. As you can see, our files are now being populated so that we can easily browse them using the VLC app. Using the left and right directional arrows on your remote, you are easily able to rewind and fast forward your content. Your Laser Android TV box is able to support 4K HDR file playback. Here you can see us selecting a file of this type and the device is able to play it back with no problems. This now concludes our tutorial for your Laser Android TV box. Please experiment with all the different apps and we hope you enjoy using it. Thank you.